Right, I'll show you the ingredients what I use for to make me homemade kebab. So that's four diced up chicken breasts. Um, obviously I'm gonna have tomatoes, red onion, cucumber, and lettuce in my kebab. Um, I've got these nice flatbreads, flame baked flatbread, taco shaped, which I'm gonna fill with. Um, my seasonings for my chicken is curry powder, garlic powder, or granules cumin turmeric i'm also going to make like a tzatziki sauce with mint sauce my greek yogurt which is also going to season me or marinate me chicken so i'll take you through everything but that's basically everything i'll be using right so let's get this chicken marinated first of all i'm going to use about a quarter of this tub this is 500 gram tub So about that much, I'm just going to get this coated in that first, so it's got something to stick to. So that was just Greek style yoghurt. Right, so next I'm just going to eyeball this, but it's probably going to be roughly tablespoons, guys. Is this even open? Right, so I'm going to go in with curry powder, that's what I'm using, mild curry powder, garlic granules, cumin granules, oh sorry, ground cumin should I say. Some turmeric, and then we'll give it a mix. Right now, just off the smell, I'm going to add a little bit more curry powder and a little bit more cumin. I'm going to get some salt and pepper, some black pepper, and also a little pinch of salt. Get that mixed in. Looks lovely, smells good. Right, so I'm going to let this marinate while I uh, chop everything else ready and then we'll cook the chicken off. So first of all, we'll get a red onion. Finally slice the onion. Break them all up so they're all little half moons. Like so. 
Next, we'll get some cucumber. This is going in the tzatziki sauce and I want a few thinly sliced cucumbers in the kebabs. So we'll do the... Now we'll slice some tomatoes. I'm just going to do three tomatoes sliced. Right. Now everything on this tray I'm just going to lightly salt. salt your tomatoes and lastly the romaine lettuce shake that end up and then just finely slice cucumber so I use probably that much cucumber some of the Greek yogurt add the cucumbers and then I'm going to put a tablespoon of mint sauce in well, I'll add two teaspoons for now because it's like I say you can always um, add, but you can't take it away if you put too much in. So that's two teaspoons. Right, so for the chicken, I'm just going to oven bake. I'm going to put them on here. Look there, smells lovely. Just going to put the cubes of chicken on the oven tray. You could put them on skewers, but I forgot to get some skewers. Or just put it on. You 
could pan fry them as well if you want it but i'm just going to put them in the oven and you don't need to worry about them until it's ready to come out right we'll just spread these out Smells lovely, guys. There you are, that's all spread out now. I'm going to put them in at about 180 for 20 minutes. I'll check them and then I'll let you know what I do after that. So that's what it's looking like after 20 minutes, guys. I'm going to give it a toss about and then put it in for another 15 minutes, see how it looks then. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Eat with Coral Blush. Here it is, my homemade chicken kebab. You've seen how I made it at the start there. Just give you a little close-up. So that's got the chicken, tomatoes, lettuce, onions, cucumber. And I've got some nice sweet potato fries there. I've got my lovely tzatziki sauce here to put on. And for my drink, I've got some blackcurrant juice. Cheers, everyone. I haven't had sweet potato fries for ages, guys. Mmm, they're lovely as well. Mmm. Do them in the air fryer, the lush. Everything's sweet. Right, let me have a go with this, eh? I would nearly done two, but I thought, no, I'll just load one up for me. You know, don't be greedy, Heather, <laughs> even though they look beautiful. Right, so get the sauce here. I'm just going to put it on per bite just in case I'm not that. I mean, it's lovely, but in case I'm not too keen on it. Kenny's trying to ring us too soon. Sorry, Kenny just rang there. So there you go. He's going to have the first bite. Here, here, here. Mmm. <laughs> Lush. Mm. Especially with them onions. Mmm. I love an onion. I think every night this week I've had something with onions in. I feel like I can't get onion smell out of my house. Mm -mm. And that chicken's really nice as well. So it ended up having like, <clears throat> I put it in for an extra 10 minutes when I showed you. Um, Tossed it all around again and I added a bit of smoked paprika to it. Just a quick sprinkle. It's really nice, guys. Mmm. God, more than enough, this actually. It's all falling out. So it's quite easy to make. Yeah, I looked at a few um, homemade chicken kebab recipes. All of them were seasoned with different things. So I just took apart like the seasonings I know I like and what I thought would taste lovely on the chicken. And he bag them, it does. Mmm. Really nice. Oh. So as I was saying, <coughs> all those seasonings are what I thought I would love on the chicken and it really is nice. I never thought to put curry powder in though. So one of the recipes had the curry powder on. I thought, oh yes, that'll add a bit more flavour to it and so this is it
Oh, the chicken's really, really nice. Another lovely fresh dish, very tasty, fresh, quite healthy. Not on purpose of trying to make it healthy, but I just fancy making a chicken kebab. So win-win really, isn't it? I love it when they start going like a bit charred if you like not overcook them but you know if you cook them long enough because that lovely crispy bit is lovely and sweet as well So glad I made it. I was going to see if Kenny wanted to do this video with us, but he came in. Seeing I was busy making it, I was just busy marinating the, um, no, sorry, I was busy doing something. I was nowhere near making it anyway. Um, <clears throat> and he says, I'm going to go and see me Nana for half an hour. So I thought, I'm not waiting. So I've just kept his in the uh, oven. Like, I haven't built it up, but it's in the oven like the chicken. So he can make his own when he gets in. Mm. I nearly just made a homemade garlic sauce. I was saying to my mum, I don't know how to make like a nice fresh cucumber mint like tzatziki style sauce. But that's how you see it. She went, oh yeah, that sounds nice. So this like is mainly like loads of prepping. Once you've got everything prepped, it doesn't take long to make, but it is like a lot of prepping to do. Oh God, I had a cheek to even think about making myself too. Just pure greed that. More than enough, yeah. <laughs> When you're hungry though, you think you can eat a horse, don't you? And it smelled delicious. I thought I could eat a lot more. Probably would have been better if you skewered the chicken pieces, but I didn't have any skewers. But just goes to show you can do it in the oven as well. Finish these lovely sweet potato fries. Can you believe it's February tomorrow, guys? January's just flew over. Mm. 
Mmm. Yeah, that's them. Um, the only thing I put is off buying these, I would have to buy like a good few packs because the packets of sweet potato fries are tiny. Like literally one pack doesn't make any. And they're like more expensive than normal fries, but they are gorgeous. Mm. Hey, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. got the stuff in guys to make um up north it's called a savaloy dip which um is a bread bun with savaloy sausage stuffing english mustard peas pudding and you dip it in gravy like the bun in gravy one of my subscribers it's two names it's got i think it's glorious day and summertime but it's the same like subscriber has been asking for it for a good long while and I've totally I've finally got the stuff in so I might make that on my next video guys pardon me I'll have to make it soon anyway before the peas pudding goes out of date you don't get long on peas pudding I might make the stuffing tonight actually and then it's ready just to build my sandwich tomorrow. Mmm. Next big thing is um Valentine's Day guys. Are you doing anything nice for Valentine's Day? Don't know what we're doing. We don't usually buy um gifts. Or if we do, it's just something little. We're like just going out, maybe maybe it's not even going out. We're like just getting a nice, some nice food and having a few drinks. But um, there's a few places we've been wanting to try lately. So we might make an effort and like go out somewhere to a restaurant. I am full. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Done. Tremendous that like really really nice. Yes, Kenny now. Tell you what, egg. Oh. Tip as top. Alright. Yep, that's top. Right, I'm going to go. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified if you upload. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.